Welcome to Trade Along. Today we are focusing on the exciting world of E-mini S&P 500 trading. We will be trading in the short direction. We will cover everything from expected value. The optimal position size. Entering the trade using a credit spread. Managing stop losses. Understanding the profit point. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced trader, this guide will provide valuable insights to enhance your trading strategy. For beginners, we recommend risking 0.5% of your total portfolio and no more than 50% of your total account. For more experienced traders, we recommend using up to 2% positions while risking up to 75% of your account. Trade along. Decide on your maximum position size by taking your account size and multiplying it by the maximum risk based on your experience level. If we make the assumption that we are looking to earn 42.5% per year, and this option is being held for nine days with a maximum risk of $5,000, we require an expected value of $75 based on this calculation. Trade along, take the annual percent you require for the risk, multiply it by the previously calculated maximum risk, and then multiply by the years to expiry, or days to expiry, divided by 252 business days. Initially, we calculate a backtest for trading E-mini S&P 500 dollar using futures contracts. This is done by selecting different limit orders and stop losses for the asset, and selecting the combination which gives the best expected value. This backtest provides us a stop loss of 1.69%, a limit order of 6.71%, and a maximum contract risk. So if the position gets assigned, the stop loss can be used without exceeding the maximum risk. We then backtest various strike prices and options configurations to enter this futures contract trade. Shown here is the backtest with the highest expected value. This is a call credit spread. A call credit spread involves selling a call option at a lower strike price and buying a call option at a higher strike price. The goal is to profit from the premium received from the sold call option while limiting potential losses with the bought call option. We have decided to sell at 5520 and buy at 5575 to enter the position or get paid a premium for waiting. This call credit spread has a June 21, 2024 expiry, a delta of 0.16, and is calculated using one contract. It will earn a reward of $289, a risk of $2,461, and based on this backtest, has a probability of success of 0.988. The expected value is therefore $256 for nine days of holding which is greater than our required expected value of $75. Trade along, calculate the risk and the reward from the trade, then use the probability to calculate the expected value for your trade. Size the trade based on your maximum risk and ensure the expected value is greater than the required expected value before moving forward. This trade has been analyzed from an expected value perspective, initially as a credit spread but with an assigned trade in mind. The final result is a trade where we look to earn a premium from the option, but if it does get assigned, we are able to trade it as a standard trade at a favorable price. Thank you for watching. If you found this guide helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more trading insights. Happy trading! you could become our 10th subscriber. Please note this video is for educational purposes and is not financial advice.